Last time on Pokemon Void. Oh, well, there is someone. You're outnumbered. Give up before it's too late. Oh, it looks like Adam and Schwartz been here recently. You'll live for now, but not for long if you keep going. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep going. Oh. Hi, Chad. The portal is too small to enter through now. The portal, eh? Ow. Alright, now we're on the good guy's side. Hi, Albert. Hi. You. You missed one, moron. Oh, oh, it's the... Oh. I can do this on my own. I don't need your help. Stop following me. Hey guys, just a casual reminder that there's not going to be an official intro to episode 17 here because this is technically the second part of the last episode that I decided to split into two smaller episodes instead of one larger one, so on with the episode. I guess we'll continue on. Um, oh, it's you guys. Oh, Chai, why did you forget about us? Get out of my way. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want you getting in the way of Team Runic. Ever since I joined the Odin Corp, I've had to put up with snot-nosed brats like you. It's about time that a new power that respects authority takes over. So bow down before us like little servant boys, hee <laughs> hee! Shut up! If you want to fight so badly, then you better bring everything you've got! Dallas, we've got some traitors to destroy. Man, both of these guys? I mean, I didn't like Lorelei, but Z Zillia was cool. I think, I think that's your name. We even have to do a double battle with Trainer AI. I already don't like this a lot. Okay, who did I... S oh, you have Saber Torch. Okay, that's the finally evolved form of the fire type, I'm guessing. Yeah, we have Judy. So, I don't think either of you have Poison Spikes, so I'm gonna go for Toxic Spikes. That'll do us good in the long run. They're level 62 and 61, which actually makes sense because we're level 60. It used Inferno and it missed. I use Brave Bird. I really don't care if Chad dies. I think I'll be able... We just need to get him down to a 1v1. Use Wood Hammer on the Fire type. It's fine with me. Just use Flamethrower, mate. It's it's not that hard. Oh, uh, it's Foul Fungimation. Both of them? If I had... Was I supposed to... Oh, Foul Fungimation is Earthquake. Oh, I wish it said that. I. All right, we're about to take both attacks here. Uh, it's a single damage icy wind. All right, that didn't do much. I think we should still be able to survive the Trevenant. Wow, that wood hammer did a lot. Okay, I'm not okay with that, but they're slowly gonna get poisoned now. Hopefully, Chad has something he can send in that will immediately die. Alright, Aggron, that's so solid, I guess. You have a Mega Aggron, Chad? Please tell me you do. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, we have 40 Hyper Potions. Yeah, let's go ahead and Hyper Potion up Judy. Uh, okay, Chad has a Mega Aggron. That's good to know. Man, everybody's got a Mega Steel type but me! Okay, you withdraw into. Oh, Gengar. Alright, Gengar makes this a little bit- oh, you would draw into Steelix, okay. Oh, that's bright, shiny Steelix. Let's heal up, and Chad, what did you attack? I'm gonna use Iron Tail, but it missed again? Chad, you're killing me here! Um, I don't like going into any- if it uses a Poison-type move, it's gonna hurt Cheshire, but if it uses a Steel-type move, it's gonna hurt Avalog. I think I have to count on Cheshire being able to take- oh, she has a Mega Gengar. Oh, she probably has a Mega Steelix now! Yeah, Mega Steelix. Oh, frick. Hopefully the Aggron can at least do some damage. Gengar use Payback. Okay, well it hasn't- the, uh, the Aggron hasn't hit it yet. Okay, Rock Slide. Chad, you are literally killing me here. Like, I don't know how to express it any more than the fact that you are killing me. 
Um, Gengar goes for a poison type move. That would be bad. I can't go for Bulldoze because that'll lower the Agron speed and also hurt it a good bit. I think I just have to go for Bulk Up. Go for Hex. Into the Agron slot. Are they just targeting down the Agron slot? Because please don't do that game. Please don't make this try and make this a 2v1 off the bat. Okay, Rock Slide is going to be single target, I think. No, that probably wasn't single target. Still looks avoided the attack and use dig. Alright, at least the dig was on me. So now we can try to horn leech the Steelix for whatever that's worth. Okay, they switch out of Gengar. Wait, have they been rule of thirdsing us this whole time? I think they've been rule of thirdsing us this whole time. And I haven't even been paying attention to that. Oh, toxic spikes are still up even though Gengar was on the field. Which I think means that Gengar has levitate? Okay, well, the Terminate's dead now. Does Gengar still have levitate in this? Have we found Gen 7 Mons in this game? We have, haven't we? I think we have. There are a lot of things I think I was supposed to be paying attention to, but I have completely forgotten in this time of need. Um, you're gonna go back into Gengar. We kinda have to accept that. Oh, now it absorbed the poison. Okay, so it probably did have Levitate before Mega Evolving, but now it has Shadow Tag. Which means I can't switch out even though there's an Ice type on the field. Um, we have to just Leaf Blade the Ice type. Okay, I went for Hex. Into me. Mark all these Brave Bird into me. Fence Buff saved us there. Go for Leaf Blade. It's not- oh, right, it's a Flying type now. I was thinking it was a normal Ice type. Okay, but that still killed it. It's not like we could have done any more damage to it with the Bulldoze. Rock Slide is actually going to be single target this time and does a good bit of damage. Wait. The Mega Gengar switched sides, so they don't... They don't cons... Never mind. We're doing a multi-battle, but they're doing a straight-up double battle. This is the point I'm trying to make. So even if we... Uh, just killed one side. That wouldn't do anything. Okay, Gengar used Payback onto me. Metagross used Hammer Arm also onto me. We'll take that. Not Stab. We have to Defense Buff up. Your speed is going down now. Alright, Iron Tail. Into a Steel type. Chad, why do you think you're better than me again? Just please run that one by me again. Why do you... Are they gonna switch out now? Are they, on e are they on uneven switching terms because we killed one of them? That might be uneven. Let's go for Horn Leech into Gengar. Okay, they withdrew Gengar into Steelix. That's great. As long as the Metagross doesn't do too much damage to me, we should be fine here. Steelix has energy drained. Iron Tail, miss. Agron, do you like. Could you just not. Okay, Meteor Mash, miss. That's pretty big. Uh, let's Horn Leech. I'd love to bulldoze, but I think Chad only has one Pokemon left, and they have four. I'd rather just not become a 2v1 by accident very quickly. So I think I'm just gonna have to Horn Leech the Steelix again. Okay, they withdrew Metagross. Go out to Gengar. Maybe you should have Horn Leech that slot. Agron, if you could go for Rock Slide and flinch and also deal damage to the Gengar, that would be great. Okay, it went for Iron Head. Oh, it went for Iron Head into the Steel Type slot, but it changed, so. Alright, good job, Chad. You did something useful. Great, Cheshire grew to level 61. Uh, Steelix went for Stone Edge. Into the Agron slot. Metagross is coming back in, but now the Gengar is dead, so we're free to switch out whenever we need to. I think I just have to keep horn leeching the Steelix slot, though. Oh, Chad withdrew Agron into... 
Okay, he is a bug and fairy type. Or bug psychic type. Did I? I think it's a bug fairy type. That's gonna die. That lived. Okay, it's ever so close to me on the verge of death, but I think it might also switch out. Oh, or he just used a double edge. Wow, that did a lot for an, uh, a non-stab move. You now you're bug type, so I feel pretty free to bulldoze. He might even have levitate. Um, oh, that's right, it's a boulder. Uh, I don't know what this boulder has, and the fact that it's protein might really screw us up here, but also the bulldoze could be good to lower its speed. I think since the bug is going to die, I think it's the most useful for me to bulldoze right now. I think I have to bulldoze. Divi Halo used Light of Ruin? Why do you have that? I mean, I guess he did good damage. Not into the right slot, but good damage. Bulldoze should hurt here. Okay, it almost did enough. You resist that. Oh, the macro says clear body, so it didn't actually lower its speed. But we did lower your speed and do a good amount of damage to you. Just don't change your type into something crazy. Or go before the mana grows. Okay, meteor mash that slot. We're gonna take whatever the Zaboulder uses now. I think it's gonna be a special attack. Okay, use play rough actually. Transform into the fairy type, but we have a defense buff. And we should take that. Nice. Okay, last but not least, you have Agron. Hmm, do I wanna... It changed into a fairy type, right? I also lowered its speed. I think I just have to count on the Agron killing the Metagross. So let's Horn Leech the Zaboulder. That kills that. Goes for Hammer Arm. We should tank that if it's not a crit. Not a crit. Chad goes for Iron Tail. Chessire's level 62. We defeated Traitors, Lorelai, and Zillia. Stupid brats of all, this pissed me off. Got 15k. Get out of my way, I'm done with you. Oh, that was Chad talking. You children are insufferable. I hope the director destroys you all. I always liked you, Dallas. The quiet types are the most fun to mess with. If you make it out alive, I'll come back someday. Make sure to watch your back. Otherwise, I'll saw out your spine. <laughs> all right, so, okay, we can actually come back and swap out our Pokemon that we want to use. But now that I know that we're not fighting Void Pokemon, just straight Void Pokemon, I'm gonna switch out some Mons. This team looks like it'll do fine. We got our Mega and the Steel Flying type, who eventually gets a Mega. Keep on moving and grooving. Oh, it's you. Ha! I didn't expect to see you two ever again. You're not getting in my head anymore. I've got a score to settle. Bring it on, Pudgy. If you want war, I'll give you war. What, so now you've just got six Pokemon? Uh, I guess we didn't really fight his official team last time. Oh, uh, and you also have a poison type, which makes using toxic spikes a little bit harder to do. Garchomp and Flygon. It's not a great torch. That's not a great lead for Saber Torch here. Uh, we know we're gonna at least be faster than one of them. Which one do I think I should kill first? Only the Garchomp. Okay, Garchomp used Dragon Rush and it doesn't affect Judy. That's big. Oh, maybe I could have attacked the Flygon, but... I would prefer to get the Pseudo-Legendary out of the way first. And that doesn't even do half. Wow. Uh, Saber Torch used Flare Blitz. Chad, do you not have Crunch on this thing still? Or, oh, right. Well, it got it close enough. Saber Torch is damaged by recoil. What does the Flygon do? He uses Dragon Tail, and it doesn't affect Judy. Okay, great. Uh, I think... If that has Rough Skin, the Garchomp will hurt us if we Training Kiss. Oh, we have more Moonblast, so we might as well Moonblast. Oh, they withdrew the Garchomp. 
All right, rule of thirds, not a thing anymore. Uh, Flygon uses Dragon Claw, still doesn't affect Judy. Please tell me you just did the thing you did last time where you Flare Blitzed into that slot. Oh wait, that's gonna be his Mega Mega Meta, Mega Meta Gross. If you can kill that Chad, that would be really great. Yes, Chad. Yes, do the thing. Yes. Yes. Okay, we took down a Mega. Critical hit, even. I don't know if that crit mattered. Okay, went to Oracult. I. So many ground types. I think we just have to keep moon blasting things, hoping that they die. All right, withdrew Flygon. Right as I. S all right, well, I guess I went back into the guard chomp, so that's fine. Oh, he withdrew for Saber Torch into. No. No, don't tell me this. The Oracle went for a ground type move. No, we need this Mega Aggron with Filter. Okay, that'll kill the guard chomp. So now it's just a 6v4. Oracle used Outrage into the Aggron slot, that's fine. Either slot would have been good there, as long as you don't use a ground type move. Okay, so now Aggron is going to get to Mega Evolve. They go back into Flygon, that's fine with me. You can just Moon Blast the Flygon slot. Alright, Aggron is a Mega Aggron. Okay, so going to use Earthquake. The Aggron's Filter, so it won't take too much damage from that. Also, on the other hand, took a, a little chunk from that. Alright, Moonblast to the Flygon should do massive damage. Okay, Heavy Slam. Oh, this thing has a rough skin. Okay, that's good to know for a bit. Uh, we are faster than the Oracle, but it might switch out. Could Moonblast it to try and kill it. I think we just Moonblast the Flygon slot again. Okay, they withdraw the Oracle into what though? Ah, the Noxic. Alright, that is our cue to leave, but also kill the Flygon first. Alright, Dragon Clawed into the Steel type. It's good for us. Now I Moonblast the Flygon. And it dies. Ooh, Iron Head at the Noxic slot. That's good for us. Alright, Oracle is coming in. I think that is our cue to switch into Bomba. Rival Chad withdrew Agron into Saber Torch. Uh, Tactical Sack, maybe? I mean, Noxic used Swift. We don't take a lot of damage from that. Saber Torch does. Goes for Outrage into my slot. Okay. So, is Mel Sound? Mel Sound is just single target, right? So I think we might as well just start arrow blasting things. Namely, the poison type. Saber Torch used Inferno and landed it. You know, I I prefer if you didn't have Inferno, but I uh, okay, you crit the Inferno. All right, well I feel like Flamethrower still would have killed that, but you know you do you, Chad. Come on, Bomba, give us a big old Arrow Blast crit. That was not the Arrow Blast crit, Bomba. All right, if you don't have a Max Revive, you don't get to use a Mega. Which is perfectly fine with me. Psychic like hits my slot. We resist that. Oh, it was a crit. Wow, if we were in here with Bomba, whatever just got hit by that crit psychic probably would have died. We, de we defeated Officer Lugner. You think you know anything about what's truly going on? No. I'm just, just kind of here, honestly. You and the Odin Court think you know what's best for the region, but you're wrong. The director has big plans, and if you continue to rebel, he won't be merciful. I'm being honest. Give up and you might live. I'm not listening to you, and I'm not going to stop until I beat you all! You still have a chance, Dallas. You can redeem yourself. The director wants you, 
and he wants you safe. One way or another, the region will fall into turmoil. Just hope you're on the right side. Reconsider before it's too late. Um, oh, it's... Huh. Now you too, why is everyone switching sides? I don't expect you to understand, Chad, but I couldn't lose my mom as well. And now you have her back. Get out of the way so I can stop these morons. Chad, I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. Team Runic has created a Pokemon that is far too strong for anyone to overcome. We can't beat them! They're unstoppable! That's nonsense. Get out of my way so I can take them down. I can't allow you boys to get hurt. Please don't do this. I'm not your kid. I don't need you looking out for me. No one ever has. Just move so I can end this already. Fine then. Have it your way. Let's go. Oh man. Man, we have not seen these guys in a while, but now we have to fight Tyrone and his mom. Alright, Birdsinger and Salamember come in. Oh, I don't like the fact that there's a poison spread move on the field. They're a little bit higher level than us. Hmm. Is it worth me... It might just go for Foul Fungimation right now, which would hurt Judy a lot. Hmm. I also don't want to risk switching into our steel type right now because of the fire type on the field let's just go for toxic spikes okay use whirlpool on the saber torch which is not great saber torch became trapped in the vortex but uh we use toxic spikes to help us out in the long run went for dragon claw into my slot okay that's good saber torch used inferno and it missed all right they're getting damaged by whirlpool a little bit uh, now since I think I have to go into Baba. Alright, I'll try and start killing things. Okay, so I'm going to use Whirlpool into my slot. Uh, first thing you're going to use Body Slam into my slot as well. Okay, don't para me. It parried me. Okay, Saber Torch use Flamethrower into... Okay, you do have Flamethrower! Why haven't you been using it this entire... Whatever, Chad. Uh, we're paralyzed, which is not preferable, but they've spent two turns in, which means they should be switching out. And once they switch out, the Whirlpool, uh, casual damage will go away, but also... what she? She had the Mega... She had the Crawdont. We assume that's going to be Mega. She could switch out to it now. I'm gonna do that. We don't know anything about Tyrone having a Mega yet, though. I don't think. Oh. An Oracle? Okay, that's one of Tyrone's mods. Gets poisoned. Good, 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 good. Uh, which drew Birdsinger into... Oh, smash the pot. Alright, well, if they were lined up in the right spots, we could deal damage to the right spots. Okay, Saber Torch used Outrage, but into what? Whoa! That did so much damage to smash the pot. Bomba, you have a 50% chance to crit Aeroblast. What are you... Alright, at least the Mega Smash the Pod is dead. That makes things a lot easier. Okay, Cheetark is coming in. An electric type. Huh. Since it's safe for Judy to come back in, we're gonna have to do that, because the electric type is on the field. That's, like, the only thing that can hurt Bomba. You sack cannon. Okay, it missed. 50% accurate, fair enough. We've missed Inferno one too many times to count today. So Chad's moves on his Pokemon are Flare Blitz, Flamethrower, Inferno, and Outrage. Do you not- are you a fire- no, there's no shot you're a fire dragon type starter, right? I'm pretty- it looks like a fire dark type. Okay, you have speed boost. But hopefully we can kill you here. Let's go ahead and just target down the electric type slot. Okay, use Thunder on Chad's Bond. Great, great choice. We didn't need him any crit. Yeah, that probably would have killed Judy if it landed on Judy. Now we can Draining Kiss it. And that killed it. Nice. Uh, ooh, Oracle has Earthquake. Ow. That did a good 
bit, but it depends on what the left side goes into. Velocitor? Oh, it's the final evolved form of the water starter. Okay. Uh, Chad is going into Divi Halo. I don't think I fear anything too much on the field currently. And since we're faster than the Oracult, could Draining Kiss it so that the Divi Halo hits whatever? Let's do that. Okay, it went through the Oracle, but into what? Oh, Fort Stinger. Alright. Gets poisoned. Yeah, the Toxic Spikes really helped out this match. Velocity used Metal Claw? Okay, it missed, though. We're both Fairy types, so that could have done a good chunk of damage to whatever it hit. Alright, now I don't care if the, uh, the Divi Halo attacks. Use Bug Buzz. Into the Velocitor. Um, who? Oh, there's an electric type on the field. But there's also a Pokemon that could use Foul Fungimation on the field. Unless I use Foul Fungimation first, because I might be faster with speed EVs. Do I really. Yeah, let's just do it. Velocitor used Hydro Pump, but it missed. Okay, we actually got pretty lucky with the Velocitor this match. Let's just kill everything on the field. Even the Divi Halo, screw it. We don't need it. Wow, I actually took that though. Now it's just poisoned. Okay, what are the last mons? Ah, uh, sell them ever. And. Another water type? Oh, the Oracle. Okay, let's just draining kiss. Oh, it's fire, so it's gonna resist fairy type moves. Let's try and kiss the Oracle. Okay, you go into Agron. That's a decent switch as long as you don't take too much damage, because we'll kill the Oracle. Hydro Pump to what's... Oh, I missed Hydro Pump. Okay, we got pretty lucky this match. Not lucky to the point where I think it saved us from any irreparable harm, but just kind of, like, conveniently lucky. Alright, let's go ahead and switch into Roy G. Bib to finish this. Uh, Mega Agron is going to be hitting the field, hopefully going for Rock Slide. Bring Judy back, go on to Roy G. Bev. Went for Inferno, but it missed. And he used Heavy Slam, Quad Resisted. The Poison did more damage than the Mega Agron did. Alright, let's get our Mega. Thunder Punch, the only Pokemon left on the field. Yeah, you see this cool stuff, Chad? Shiny Mega Evolution. Yeah, bet you're jealous. So I'm gonna use Hydro Pump, but it missed. Okay. I've never seen Hydro Pump miss so many times in my life. I feel like the battle might have been skewed a little bit here. Uh, there was a good no the Metagross did miss me uh, Meteor Mash in the other battle. Maybe they do favor you a little bit, which is kind of nice, but like, I'd rather just come in here with six Pokemon without Chad. Please, if you must continue, don't get yourself hurt. Got more money. It's not too late. We can still stop them. And I'm going to begin by putting an end to this director. If you're really going to do this, have Chad's back. He doesn't know what he's getting into. I can't stand to see you boys go through all of this. It isn't right. Please, just... Just look out for one each other. I didn't think it before, but you and Chad might have a fighting chance. If we make it out of this, I'm gonna give up on being a trainer. I want things to go back to when it was simpler. I just want to take care of Pokemon. Defeat the director for me. I believe in you, Dallas. Oh, it's the- oh, no. It's these guys. Did you- did you come all this way to challenge us? Too bad it will be for nothing. You'll never make it to the director, and even if you do, you'll certainly die. Is that a risk you're willing to take, boys? Let's just fight already. Guess you'll die here instead. Oh, it's Swordman. 
Alright, Swordman might be a little bit more dealable with now. He's probably gonna have his Mega. But we have our own boy that we can use to deal with the Steel Flying Titan now. Just not super well. Okay, Corvitsu and Valkravus are starting out the match. We have positive matchups with both of these. Um, do either of you have a poison type? I'm trying to think. I don't think... I don't think guy on the right side had one. Or left side, actually. But it won't matter. Um, he had a Corvitsu, the Mega... Mega Bomba, a Divi Halo, and... Oh, it was the, uh, the bug fighting type. Okay, so we actually... She's going to have the Mega Tank. Let's take a turn to set up Toxic Spikes. It won't help us against the Steel types, but it will help us against everything else. Okay, you're charging Sky Attack, but we're faster than you, and you're quad weak to uh, the move. Okay, Flabuts is going to do a good chunk here, too. Or just all of the damage, alright. Should you gain some experience, becomes level 64. I'll give us these crunch into... And not very effective. Okay, I'm assuming that is a dark type. Ow. Oh, is he gonna blade just my spot? Did that do less? It looks like it... If that was to do another fourth of my health... Oh, it's split damage. It probably does an eighth. Okay, Mega Tank is on the field. With Intimidate. Alright, we're gonna have to switch out into Bomba. Okay, yeah, Tank is getting big very quickly. Um, did it intimidate us again? When it Mega Evolved? I Is that how that works? Do Megas that get Intimidate re-intimidate? I mean, probably. It's probably a thing. Or maybe it's just on the Switch end, I don't know. Okay, Bomba's on the field now. Super Torch uses Flare Blitz into the Steel... No, it's into the Fairy Fighting slot. Um, that's fine. Saber Torch can go down. Okay, you went for Sky Attack into me. So I really don't care what you do. Oh, uh, don't buy Slam Parabomba again. Frickin' darn it! Okay, the sword. Struck Saber Torch. Sword. Struck Bomba. Leftovers, though, won't we'll negate that. Um, it might be worth just using Iron Defense. We're not faster, and I kind of just want to four-store off the para. Hmm, I don't know what the best move is here. Let's actually... We're not going to be faster. Let's Aeroblast the Valkyrus just in case Chad decides not to attack it. Okay. He decided not to attack it. Just don't... Mega Tank, please just don't go for a ground-type move this turn. Um, oh, it missed Sky Attack. Used Iron Tail. Okay, that's neutral damage. It got the defense drop. Yeah, that's a defense drop on Iron Tail. We land the Arrow Blast at least. That one's a super effective Arrow Blast. Not a crit though. All right, we take the sword damage just a little bit. Okay, Bulky Moth has come in. It's poisoned. Uh, if we Arrow Blast down this, we can kill it. Mega Agron is going to be on the field. Mega Tank might be switching out, and if it does, that's good for us. Uh, okay, yeah, Mega Tank decided to switch out. Um, I went to Aileron, okay. Mega Tank switches out, Mega Plane switches in. Close combat, how much does that do? No, it killed Bomba! Oh, close combat did too much. Frick, man. Okay, that's really bad. Now we don't have a way to beat Mega. Now we don't have a way to beat Mega Aileron. I mean, even if that did less damage. Frick, man, close combat. Dang, man, I really needed Bomba. We never even got to Mega Evolve Bomba either. We're in a rough spot now. I have to switch into Judy. 
because I know that the aileron, if it has a steel type move, we just quit the game at that point. Like, honestly. I think we have to just focus on getting the left side down. So I'm just gonna, not even going to bother. I'm just going to boom blast it. Okay, aileron's aileronite is doing a thing. Hopefully it decides to go for, like, Sky Attack or something, so it spends less turns doing something. Uh, okay, the Aileron used Draco Meteor. I would actually prefer if that landed, because that would have done nothing to whatever it hit. But also lowered its special attack. Okay, the Bulky Moth is down. The Mega Tank might be coming in now, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Okay, I'm gonna use the rock slide and a mist. And sword damage. Okay, Mega Tank. Back in. Intimidates us down. I think we have to swap in. How many mons do you have left? Have we killed all your mons except for your megas? No, there's still one left. Um, if we're lucky, the Aileron will switch out. I need to switch into Rudgy Biv. I'll switch out. There's a low chance of it using a flying tape move here, I feel like. And for what it's worth, I hope that that's true. I'll drew Agron into the bug. No, into the fire type. Okay, the fire type might die here. Use Hurricane, but it missed. Okay, that's a big mess. Use Body Slam. Okay, at least it didn't power me. Uh, the Saber Torch is down now. That's not great. Okay, the Aileron should be switching out this turn. Now we know. Since the Aggron is coming in, we should be faster than the Mega Panzerk. I think we just have to Mega Aqua Tail it. Or heal up. We could heal up too. Let's make an Aqua Tail the Panzerk. Man, look at our field full of cool Megas, guys. Except for you, Chad. You're just you're just here. I mean, you got a Mega sure. All right, the Aileron is going to stand for as many turns as it likes. But as long as it's lowering its special attack, then I approve. Oh, it killed the Aggron with Draco Meteor? Really? Okay, if we don't kill this Panzerk here, we're gonna take whatever mo Oh, wow, we were not close to killing it. Alright, just use Body Slam, though. It crit us with Body Slam! Did that sword damage do enough to kill Ridgy Biv? I really hate these fights. I think we're about to lose. I legitimately don't think I can beat this now. It crit us with Body Slam. What am I supposed to do at that point? I mean, what, we each only have a Fairy type and a Bug Fairy type left? We can't win. Okay, they draw Aileron, but that really wasn't... Oh, you have an Avalog still. Forgot about that. Alright, that's gonna get poisoned. But it's, that's that's not really the mom that's the problem. The problem is the steel type. Come on, just do enough. Just do enough to two hit KO. That's almost enough to two hit KO, but not really. Please, just tell me you moon blasted the steel type spot. It moon blasted the other slot. Well, I killed it. So now you gotta deal with the aileron again. We're two fairy types on the field, so the airline can't lower. Okay, body slammed. It's using the sword. I think I have to heal up this turn. But it's probably gonna body slam. I think 
I don't even know what to think at this point. The Aetheron has Hurricane, which would probably kill Judy at this range. I think we have to hope for a Crit Moon Blast on the Panzerk, and then hope that the Aeron does Draco Meteor, even though we're both Fairy types. Okay, use Draco Meteor, even though we're both Fairy types. Just do enough damage to the right slot, to where I can heal up. Come on, just, just. Divi Halo, please. I'm just asking you to attack the right slot. It didn't attack the right slot. Alright, what is the Panzer gonna do? Heavy Slam? It killed the bug. It did not kill the bug. It lived. Okay, I think at this point we have to... Either hope that it's only revealed Hurricane and Draco Meteor, right? It might have Metal Sound, which could be a stats move that it goes for as well. If we Draining Kiss the Panzerk, then we kill it. We have to hope that the Aileron does something dumb. Just kill the tank. Okay, used Hurricane, but it missed. Okay. We have an actual chance of winning now. Maybe Halo used Light of Ruin. Is that gonna kill it? Am I about to be in a 1v1 with this Aileron? Yeah, the Light of Ruin killed the Divi Halo. Ow. Okay, the sword damage didn't become single target, even though we're in a double battle, is what it looks like. I need to heal up. Is 200 enough? Yeah, 200 is enough. Just please, like, do something dumb. I think I'm just gonna wait until... You're faster than me. Hurricane will kill me at that range. I'm just gonna wait until you, you do something dumb. Because there's no reason for me to not to. Like, unless it crit hurricanes me, but I can't avoid that at that point. Okay, Draco Meteor. Alright, I just need to hope Moonblast does enough. And that it doesn't go for Hurricane like Hurricane crit me. Oh, a hurricane confused me. Don't be like this game. Come on, man. I just got out of this fight. Bone Blast. Even if it doesn't kill, it can lower special attack. Or attack. Either one of the two. Just lower something, please. Or kill it. Okay, it's dead. Well, <sighs> Sword Guy finally got Roji Biv. The only survivor of the last fight. And now we have Judy. The only survivor of this fight. You're going to pay for what you've done here. I have already paid with my life. Screw this! The director is going to bring down the tower with you in it! But you aren't going to take me alive! Oh, she went backwards. Oh, well he's... he's stuck here now. And it's Albert! Hold it! You're not going anywhere! Okay. So I've been thinking about this for a little while. I know Albert said that he had a brother very early on, and Albert has a sword. Albert, short, sound fairly similar. I'm pretty sure this guy is Albert's brother. A sword? Wait, are you? Stop! Don't do this! We don't have to fight! We can bring you back! We we can fix you! Please, don't! Oh, well, they went out the glass. Good! A new exit! <laughs> I'm getting to the top. I don't care what happens next. Artificial gravity engaged. Void detonation commencing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Void detonation in progress. Well, that's not good. Um, alright, well, I have to update the layout because we lost two of our most powerful members. Oh, guys, it's good while it lasted. But now you gotta go in the box. You know what, we'll let you keep your smash to pot eye, Roy G. Biv. Seems, uh, seems like a good idea. So what do I actually have to replace the Pokemon that we lost? Are we still only allowed to have... I'm assuming they're allowing us to have all of our Pokemon back now. So it's not super terrible, but it's still pretty terrible. Okay, we lost a water and 
fighting type and a flying and steel type. Both of them were dual type mons, so we don't have that problem really. We could put Mutu on the party. We also have Kari. I think putting Kari on the party is smart. We really don't have anyone to take explosions anymore. Just normal explosion, because we're down to steel type. Could just bring a sack on. You're sturdy. We might just have to bring you for a sturdy sack. Sorry, Giggy, yeah, giggy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're probably gonna die. Alright, let's keep moving on. Oh, there's a very big ball forming. I guess I gotta climb the ladders. Making my way up the tower. My dad today. Uh, where do you go from here? Genuinely, where do you go from here? Was I supposed to go down here? Oh, it's probably. Oh, well, there's a red candy. Even if I wasn't supposed. Oh, four red candies. Oh, I guess now's the time to use them. Uh, not really another point in the game, it seems like. Alright, we have 11 rare candies. Everybody literally just needs to get caught up to Judy. So we're gonna catch Cheshire up to Judy at least. Get, we'll get the uh, Pokemon who are most important to get close to the higher level to the higher level. But I'm not gonna waste the time getting Kari to a higher level, because Kari's just kinda here for intimidate pressure. Ooh, Guru wants to learn Sunny Day. I don't know how useful that is over Endeavor though, so we're just not gonna learn it. So are we actually like supposed to go up here? There's, there's supposed to be is there supposed to be a thing for me? Am I supposed to talk to people? And then maybe they'll help me out? Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to talk to those guys. Brother, please, is there any part of you left? Don't do this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's his brother. And nobody else here talks. Great. Where did I where did I go? Oh, I see it now. This window is broken. Okay. I'm coming for you, director. Would you like to save the game? Uh, yeah, sure. Security measures disabled. Okay, well, oh, oh, look at this. Found some saber crystals and a void ball. All right, so let's just take us back all the way. Okay, yeah. Take us back to that warp panel. Alright, so we're going to handle this in the next episode. I think I've got two episodes worth of content here, so I'm going to split that up into two episodes. I, I'm pretty sure we just did the Elite Four equivalent in this game, since we fought four fights. Kind of... I don't like the fact that we had to do it with Chad, though. Especially since... Man, we lost two of our best mods today, which really stinks. But that's just the way it is, and you can't really change that. So, it's just a darn shame we didn't get you evolved. Maybe we'll, at the next thing, we'll get Goop uh, leveled up and see if Goop evolves. We also have Mewtwo. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, maybe consider leaving a like on the video, and even consider subscribing, because both of those things would help me out an absolute ton, and my subscriber analytics are probably on screen. Uh, yeah, subscriptions would be very, very handy. And so, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Void, where we do whatever happens at the end of the game. See ya. Thank you.